Ah, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Caddy right back into it with another dealer's choice. And, again, there's going to be a code in the video, just keep an eye on it. And as usual, rules for the giveaway are down in below in the description. My apologies if I'm gonna kinda rush this, I actually have a wicked headache. And not just from my life, also from trying to tr trying to do this outfit. Our winner this week was from Trey McPherson, who again requested a historically accurate outfit. And he requested Texas Jack Vermilion, also known as Shoot Your Eye Out Jack. Which is the name I'm going to call him by for now on, because there there were two people that went by Texas Jack, and guess which one I could find the most pictures of? Not the one I needed to do the video about. <laughs> there, <laughs> I've been able to find one legitimate photo of Texas Jack Vermillion, aka Shoot Your Eye Out Jack, and it's back when he was in... The, I think it was the Civil War. I could be wrong on that. My my study was very brief and very just glancy. I, I, <laughs> I virtually had nothing really to go on other than one like drawn caricature of him when he shot a card sheet. And he actually briefly ended up with the nickname Texas Jack Vermillion, which quickly got changed to Shoot Your Eye Out, Jack. That's literally all I really had to go on. And basically all the interpretations he's gone through in various movies, including Tombstone. I... This has literally been, like, one of the most pain-in-the-butt historically accurate outfits I've done yet. Because <laughs> there's virtually nothing on what this man wore. I can tell you for a brief time, though, he was a Methodist preacher. Because I, I do do research from time to time for these videos, and, uh... Good oh God. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda took a lot more inspiration from... The Texas Jack I could find pictures of, not not necessarily a Vermillion, but from what I keep understanding and what I keep finding, they actually did have fairly similar dress styles. Either that or the uh, costume and prop artists for uh, a lot of the movies I glanced through that had Texas Jack in them, aka Shoot Your Eye Out Jack, uh, maybe have mistaken for the other Texas Jack, whose name I can't even remember right off the top of my head. That all said... Before my head bursts from the sudden wealth of knowledge I now have over these two people that is quickly fading away because I have a screaming headache, let's break down the outfit piece by piece, shall we? Start off with the hat. One of the common things I kind of find between both iterations of Texas Jack and Shoot Your Eye Out Jack, including that wonderful character where he actually shot a card sheet, is that he is wearing a wide-brimmed pinned hat which the pinned flop hat does fit remarkably. Though looking at this, I really am saddened by how wonky the textures look on it. That said, it really fits the bill for what I was going for here. Of course, other options I can suggest if you don't have that or have not found that yet. Or of course, the Beaver Big Valley hat, which may not quite have the pinned brim, but it does have the size along with, I believe it was a Kennedy hat, am I right? I think I'm right. No, it's called the Candy Hat Online. It's the Big Valley Hat in single player. Yes, this hat. Which comes in a variety of colors, which you're more than welcome to play with. I actually do really prefer this color, honestly. But that's just my opinion. Again, historically accurate, it's kind of hard to pin down when you don't got much to work with. Moving on the coats, I went with something with tassels. The only thing we have in single player that even has tassels is the hunting jacket that we start off with. But if you don't mind hunting a bit and getting some legendary pelts, the legendary moose hunting jacket is also an option. Assuming you can find it. It just kind of depends on what color you really want to go with for the sucker. Fair warning, the sucker is really warm. I actually don't recommend it for that very reason. We on the vest. I again stuck with tassels being a weird motif with this. I like the Wrangler vest personally. I like the fact that it comes with smaller tassels that actually kind of match up more with the jacket. The Ebony vest wins kind of a nice second bet. I, I kind of actually like how it's been through some wear and tear, which I always appreciate in some of these outfits. But the tassels are way long. And of course, there is another one that I can't remember off the top of my head because I have a screaming headache and I'm being the dumb right now. 
The devil is a damn thing. Ah, there we go. The outdoorsman vest. Which is basically the same thing, just in a paler color scheme, which I appreciate. For shirts, everyday overshirt. I mean, there's really nothing special. Really, just any decent looking shirt would do fine. I actually, looking at it, the Casimir shirt probably works a little bit better. Let's go ahead and just throw that on. Again, screaming headache. My apologies. For pants, I mean, you're not really going to see them. So frankly, completely dealer's choice on pants. I just went with these jeans here. Because honestly, I don't know why I adhered to these immediately. I just really liked them for this look. I really did. I'm not entirely sure why. I just I just went with my gut on it. But again, we're not really going to see them, so don't worry too much about the jeans. No suspenders, because we're not going to see them. Moving on to chaps, and of course, moving on with our wonderful tassel design here. The fringe shotgun chaps. I kind of like the darker brown on these, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It really bugs me because while I say I'm making shoot your eye out, Jack, I swear to God, the entirety of this design is primarily based off the other Texas Jack, who I believe had a brief moment with Buffalo Bill. Ergo, a lot of this was kind of more so for a show. Anything else? Ergo, tassels for everybody. And finally, for the boots, worn roper boots. You know, I mean, the rest of this outfit looked kind of grungy, worn, and torn that it's kind of hard not to suggest a worn roper boots just for the same effect. And of course we're going to want those in darker browns. No spurs to this outfit unless you really want to throw them on, in which case by all means throw them on. I mean, I'm not going to say no, because again, I'm going off literally nothing. A lot of this is guesswork. A lot of this is just kind of working off what inspiration I found from films, so on and so forth with my own little taste thrown in. No mess, no bandanas per se, neckwear, I will recommend the neckerchief. I feel like it works. The high neckerchief I also kind of like. I like the way it kind of meshes with everything else, especially with the collars popped open. But again, dealer's choice as usual. No gloves, weapon equipment, have at it. <laughs> I got nothing for that really. And satchels, same thing, along with talismans. You can actually deck this out with talismans pretty effectively and it would actually look pretty good, not gonna lie. That all said, that, that's it. I have so many mixed feelings about this. Because I personally actually kind of like this. I really do. I kind of like this look. But I hate that I basically created it, and I'm saying it's a historically accurate version of Texas Jack Vermillion, aka Shoot Your Eye Out Jack. Because I got nothing to work with other than what he was wearing during the war. Which was just a freaking uniform, which doesn't help. <laughs> Good god. Oh. Also, that's Joe again. Didn't I shoot Joe in an earlier video? I could have sworn I shot Joe. Anyway, I have a headache. I'm going to go kill that now. As usual, though, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing it with your friends. And of course, check it down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own request in the comments, where you might be next week's winner, along with a more detailed, in-depth look at the rules for the Grim Giveaways we are having at the end of October. And again, you can win two entries simply by just finding the code in the video, commenting it down in the comments section, and for a second giveaway, Going to Twitter, twitting at GrimGaddy, hashtag Grim Giveaways along with the code. Ugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go lay down now. This video kind of kinda of wrecked me. I actually almost want to take a break from YouTube for a while just from this. But I'm not gonna do that. But once again, thank you all for watching. And as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers, the loss us, and as always, lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we will catch you all in the next video. Which I hopefully will be able to find more pictures of for inspiration on historically accurate outfits if it's another historically accurate outfit. God, I hope I do.